FZ2 has several drawing entities, such as straight lines, arcs, curves, continuous lines, and circles. Each entity is established with a few clicks and can be modified with the Entity Tool Panel. We'll look at a line first. Clicking a command opens the Tool Panel. The entity will start with the establishing click on the diagram. Notice length and angle displays on the extended line. You can click to establish the endpoint, or you can enter length into the tool panel. Use grips to move it, extend or shorten it, pivot or rotate, or use the tools panel for adjustments, including line thickness and adding or removing arrows. You can minimize the tool panel, reset all properties to defaults, move objects to different layers, or use presets to adjust line thickness, or customized on the home panel. Use the color palette to change the line and arrow color. Line type is a great shortcut to success. Click line type to select from 24 styles from dash lines to skid marks, fencing, property lines, barriers and guardrails, sidewalks and railroad tracks, and even stairs. Draw commands are so easy we can fly through them. Draw a line with a beginning and end point. Thickness adjustments carry on to all shapes until it's changed again. A continuous line, ideal for tracing or multi-directional connected lines, is as simple as clicking a start point, then clicking a point to change the line direction, double-click, or press Enter to end the line. Draw a curved line the same as a continuous line, but this time the line will curve at each point set down. Also, double-click to end it. There are two kinds of arcs, start, end, middle, and start, middle, end. There are two circle types and an ellipse, the two-point circle and the three-point circle. The ellipse is also a three-point object. To complete the theme, there are two kinds of rectangles, two-point for perpendicular shapes and three-point to draw your rectangle at an angle. There is also a one-click shape, the point. Points can be free-floating or attached to objects. These come in handy in the next section of the video. When drawing any of the line commands, you can draw it freehand and modify in the tool panels, or you can use precision drawing. Precision drawing begins the same. Click the command and click your start point. For successive points, don't click. Instead, enter the precise length in the tools panel. With a continuous line, click the first point. Move in the direction of the next point, but enter the length in the panel. Move in the direction of the next, and repeat. The shape can be rotated using the grip. In ortholock mode, it will rotate directly to 90 or 45 degree positions. Deselect ortholock to freestyle. Hold Control while rotating to get the same 90 or 45 degree positioning while in a freestyle mode. Precision copying is done by clicking the Copy command and then clicking the Reference Point. This loads the ghost shape to the cursor. Move in the right direction and type on your keyboard the exact distance to move and press Enter. This will place the copy and a marker at that exact distance for the next copy. Click the marker to place. Repeat or press Escape to end the copy command. To place a marker for precision snapping, click the Place Marker command and, as the command prompt says, click the object or line to receive the marker. Now click the starting point. Enter the distance and notice the green dot moves. You can enter an offset to move it off the line, change the color of the marker, and select Repeat to place multiple markers. No marker has been placed yet. Click Place Marker to place the point. The green dot moves to the next position. Now lines or other objects can be snapped to the point. We'll add a dimension line so you see it's exact. Markers can also be placed on arcs and curves. Place as before, but this time at an offset. Click Place Marker for each mark. You can flip Offset to move the marker to the other side of the line. Now if our curve is a guardrail, traffic cones can be snapped to the markers, for example.
The edit tools on the Draw Edit ribbon give you several shortcuts and controls for your drawings. We'll begin with the Offset tool and create a road. With the object selected, click Offset. A true offset is created that you can place as desired or enter the offset distance in the tool panel as a fixed distance. Then choose which side of the object to place the copy. To repeat the command, press spacebar, enter the desired value, and click to place, and again to create a shoulder of the road. Press spacebar or OF and enter 3 feet. One more time and we have a road with shoulders and a center line. Let's change the center line to a dash line. Select the line, click line types, and select a dash line. Offsets work for lines, circles, rectangles, and curves. Breaking a tool can be done precisely by placing points or freehand. Optionally place points, click the Break tool, and then click the points. When you have a line you want to extend to another line, click the Trim Extend tool. Click the line to extend, and then the line it should snap to. To trim, repeat, but click the side of the line you want to keep, then the snap line. Or, you can use the grips to do the same thing. To copy an object, select it, click Copy, and then click a reference point on the object. Move the copy into place. Press Escape on the keyboard to exit the command, or notice the next reference point the same distance as the first. Snap it to the point, or move it to a new location. Type a distance for accuracy, or just click in place. To move a group of objects in alignment with another object, select the objects by holding down the mouse button and scrolling a selection box across the group. Click the Align tool and click the reference point of the grouped objects. Click the Offset point to establish the base of the group. Then, pick the Destination point, which snaps the reference line in place, and finally, click the point to align the offset point. You could use this to move a line of cars into a parking lot, for example. To group individual objects into one, select them and print the Group tool. They can now be moved and rotated as a single object. Further, a grouped object can be scaled, while a selection of objects can't. Using the grip rotates the object from its center point. The Rotate tool allows you to pick a point around which the object rotates. Just select an object, select the rotational point, then the alignment point, and rotate to the desired position. To explode a grouped object, select it and click Ungroup. Again. You can use grips to move an object, or you can click Move, select a reference point, and snap to another point. Cursor Align is a nifty tool to make tracing more accurate. To trace this building, click the Cursor Align command. The first two clicks establish the alignment. Thereafter, for each click, the red alignment guide enables you to line your line to distant points. Now. Delete or hide the satellite image to see your accurately traced line. Thank you for joining us to learn about the basics of drawing in FC2. Please visit Faro Academy for online courses and YouTube for more tutorial videos. <laughs>